welcome to another video tutorial by 2dkmartguru.com. Today I'll be showing you how to quickly and easily create a seamless pattern in Affinity Designer using the notch tool to place simple objects inside a square to make it seamless. Let's start with a new document. I set the size to 100 by 100 pixels. The size is important, you can set it to millimeters, whatever you want to work in, as long as it's a square. And you remember the size because the size of the document has to be repeated in the tools for the nudge distance. So I set the nudge distance to 100 pixels as well. What that does is if I have an object, in this case, my base shape which is a circle with an outline and an inner shadow and I now press the cursor key it moves it by exactly 100 pixels which is our canvas size so if I move the object to the edge in order to be seamless I need the same object on the other side of my pattern to connect so I create a duplicate and can easily move it by just pressing the cursor key and it'll be in the right position to be matching with the other side. The same would go if I place it at the top, create another copy, and now I don't align it to the frame, it's just a little bit off, and by, come on, pressing the cursor key, I get the same copy in exactly the right position to match the seamless tiling to the top. Let's start placing the elements. I created three more copies in different colors. So let's take the first circle, move it down a little bit, take the next one and put it on top. In order to be seamless, we need a copy of that one to go at the very bottom. And this one goes up in the layer stack. So the green one will end up somewhere here and the blue one will be in the corners. In order for the blue one to be seamless, we need four of them, seeing they are covered at the top and the bottom as well as the sides. So now we have those, and those ones would be at the very top of the layer stack. And we need another duplicate of this one that goes onto that side. Now if I select objects on all sides, I can still move them and the pattern stays intact and seamless. So if I move these six up a little bit, I should have a seamless pattern. So if I toggle off the canvas clipping, we now see that should be a seamless pattern. The easiest way to test that is by creating a square on top. So we place all of our objects inside that square, which is 100 by 100 pixels. So now I can zoom out a little bit, and if I duplicate this one, place it on that side, turn the toggle off again, and I can place objects all around. As you can see, we end up with a seamless pattern. Another very helpful tool if you want to continue working on this is going to the studio, opening the symbols and creating a symbol of our pattern. If I now duplicate it and create the pattern. I can work on one of the symbols and if I change elements in one, say we add a black dot, it appears in all of them. So rearranging things now, by moving this one up a little bit, it automatically changes in all of them. And I can see when I break the pattern by moving the ball outside, 
it becomes not seamless. So let's move it back in place. This one works really well in Affinity Designer. So play with it, have fun. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to seamless patterns in Affinity Designer. I'm planning on doing one with a more complex pattern soon. So please stay tuned. See you soon.